Let's learn today about countercurrent mechanism. It has two parts countercurrent multiplier and countercurrent exchanger. Initially, we will look into the countercurrent multiplier. Now, let us consider an illustration of loop of any. Here we have descending limb, ascending limb, and interstitium. The ascending limb, especially the thick part, actively removes sodium and other ions into the interstitium, whereas the descending limb is only permeable to water. Let's assume that the osmolality of the descending limb, ascending limb and the interstitium is equal to that of the plasma osmolality that is around 300. Now what this thick ascending limb does is it extrudes the sodium ions from the lumen into the interstitium. As a result of this, the osmolality inside the ascending limb decreases whereas the osmolality in the medullary interstitium increases substantially. As the descending limb is only permeable to water, the water from the descending limb moves into the interstitium so that it equilibrates with the interstitium. Further, the fluid from the proximal convoluted tubule enters into the descending limb and the same process is repeated again so that the fluid which leaves the ascending limb is always having osmolality less than that of plasma. That is, a dilute urine is formed in the kidney and this process repeats again and again in the interstitium and the tubules so that the interstitial osmolality is multiplied at each level and this process is called as countercurrent multiplier. Now let us look what is countercurrent exchanger and its importance in maintaining the countercurrent multiplication system. If the renal blood supply was vertical, then the medullary osmolality gradient which was formed would have been washed away. But the renal blood supply is in the form of the vasa recta. The vasa recta which dips down along with the loop of Henle helps in maintaining the counter current multiplication which is formed by loop of Henle. The solutes from the interstitium enters into the vasa recta as they dip down into the medullary interstitium. And the solutes move out as the vasa recta moves out of the medullary interstitium. In this way, the vasa recta maintains the already formed countercurrent multiplier system by the loop of Henry. 